Closer look at the new Odyssey Aquarium opening in North Scottsdale. Liz is live uh, hanging out with the otters. Hello, Liz. Good morning, everyone. Liz Kotalik here, and we are at the Odyssey Aquarium, and look who just showed up. Look at these little things. How many otters do we have here, Jessica? Well, these are three of our Asian small cloud otters. This is Gizmo, Pepper, and Peanut. And this is the first time that they're seeing their new home. You got it. This is it. We're ready to go, and uh, before we can open for our guests, we want them to be exploring and be comfortable in their new home, so that's exactly what they're doing right now. Let's follow them as they do this, because it's just the most adorable thing I've ever seen. So tell me what it takes to take care of animals like this. Well, we're here 24 hours a day are on call at least and we really hand raised these guys um bottle fed them, took care of them through the night, that kind of thing. And now they're big otters and they're ready to be on exhibit all on their own with, with uh, us watching closely over them. And they are super fun and uh, very playful, as you can see. Big otters, they look kind of small to me, Jessica. Well, they small are. And adorable. <laughs> they are small and adorable. <laughs> they're actually the smallest species of otter in the world of the 13 species of otter. But they are apex predators, which means they're a top predator. And it's actually really critical that we pay attention to Asian small cloud otters because they're what is called an indicator species. So what that means is if something is declining or happening with their population, we know that it's probably happening to all of the systems underneath them that, that they feed upon and, 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 and then share a habitat with. So these guys are really important. They are, and they're, they're vulnerable right now, so it's important that we just really take care of them, and that's why they're here at Odyssey Aquarium as their home, is to kind of educate our guests to have a lot of fun with everybody and to really make sure they're around for generations to come. When do they pop in the water and do all the cute stuff in the water? When does that happen? Whenever they want, but as you said, you know, this is their first time, so they're kind of a little bit apprehensive, yeah, but I'm used sure, to think. sure once they discover it, they are going to have a, a great time. And that's Lior in the water with them. That's one of their animal care specialists. So he has a great relationship with Aww. them, standing by and letting them know that it's okay to be in there and actually really fun and reinforcing when they choose to. But I think they're checking out uh, that rock work right now. Yeah, so it's a very interesting rock. Uh, so a big question of the morning and really of the summer, when are we going to be able to get to see these guys ourselves? That is a great question. And we're hoping to bring our guests in really, really soon, um, late summer, early fall. Stay tuned. Check out our website, odysseyaquarium.com, and also follow us on Facebook. We'll be keeping everybody up to speed. So hopefully really, really soon. This is a good sign, though. Oh, man. It's, look at that. All right, Jessica, thank you so much. I'm going to leave you. No, don't come to me, Brian. You don't want These people don't want to see my face. Let's end it on one of these beautiful, beautiful shots of one of these adorable little otters. Back to you guys. We don't mind seeing her face, though. No. No, that would have been just fine, but we do love the otters. What a fun assignment she had today. She was, yeah, she was a few different places today. Yeah. Making plays.